After a week-long scorcher outside, we got a handful of complaints about some people burning up inside. News Channel 6's Renetta DuBose is live atop the Partridge Inn, where some are gearing up for fun while others nearby are really trying to beat the heat. Brad, look at this. It's simply beautiful. I am standing on the rooftop of the Partridge Inn where I have sort of like a Google Earth view of Augusta. It's simply beautiful. Now, they will be doing fireworks here Monday. That's the 4th of July, and they will be able to show you probably the only vantage point that you'll see in Augusta. That's pretty cool, right? What's not so cool, the folks across the street at Bonaire Apartments. Good morning. AC problems. Good morning. How y'all doing? I'm on some I'm on medication. Oh, Hell. Okay. It's been hell's hot there. Certainly none of us want to go, but some say they are living there. In the past day, New Channel 6 has been hit with Facebook messages and even a handwritten note full of complaints against Bonaire Apartments' cooling system. Well, I have an air conditioned unit, but they haven't fixed on my air. So in my living room, I mean, my bedroom is hot. Come on, come on, come on. Eager to see just how hot it was inside Bonaire, we followed so Diane Copeland to her unit. And on the way there, checked in to see if others have the same problem. Some relief in Copeland's home. She says she's one of the lucky ones because she has they epilepsy. An AC room. unit now cools her living room temporarily. But you're still hot in your bedroom. Right. What's it like sleeping at night in the heat? It's a disaster. It feels like hell. I'll be sweating and I'll be having panic attacks, anxiety attacks. I just feel like I'm going to die. A spokesman from the management company says a large chiller tower that controls air in more than 200 units broke down. The company spokesman says residents were notified that it was being worked on and around 25 units where people are sick or have asthma received window units. I'm one of quite a few. And residents like Arthur Bennett, who left his hot unit, took advantage of a large community room full of air, cold water, and meals provided by the management team. And the medication that I take, I can't be in there. You know, I, I really have to resort to the second floor, uh, uh, the terrace room, to, to, to get a, you know, a, 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 a livable uh, temperature. They need to reconstruct and tear it down. This is an old building. I don't care how long it takes them to fix the air. There's people that need air now. They got health problems, you know, mm -hmm. illness. I now, while I was over there, I saw contractors, and I'm told by Binaire's management company that they're working 12 to 16 hours per day on the air conditioning units, and everything should be working fully by Sunday. Now, once all those issues are worked out, you can join, hopefully, some of the Binaire folks here on the rooftop of the Partridge Inn, where there will be specials on food, drinks, and, of course, a great vantage point for fireworks. We're live in Augusta. Renata DuBose, WJBF News Channel 6. Back to you.